Hey guys, it's the Philippine Info Channel. My name is Justin. I'm your guest host today, filling in for Steve. And my topic is the phone system. I want to tell you a few things that I learned. Some of them I learned the hard way. Um, but this video is mainly for guys who are not here yet or here the first couple days and haven't figured it out. If you've been here more than a week or two, then you figure out the phone system and how it works. But I had a uh, phone plan that said all network calling. I thought that meant all numbers. No. I could only call cell phone numbers, not landlines. And when I came in, in February for three weeks, I was traveling around doing long bus rides. I was calling hotels, couldn't get through. Um, so no one explained to me the difference between a cell number and a landline number. Cells are zero nine and anything else, zero two, zero four, those are landlines. So each number is 10 digits. Cell phones start with nine, but you put a zero on front of it. If you're calling within the country or you drop the zero and use the country code six, three. If you're calling from the U.S. or any other country, dial 63 and then the 10 digit number without the zero at the beginning. Um, so I bought that uh, SIM card off of eBay, $12. Came with a Philippine phone number and uh, some load. It's like minutes. So I put that on my phone so when I landed, I was able to make calls right away. Um, but I was also had a phone number that I could list because back in February there were a lot more COVID forms that required a phone number or the SRRV uh, application had phone numbers I had to list. So I had my own phone number to put down. Uh, you can get SIM cards at the airport, no problem. Most guys, no problem getting it to work on their phone. A few guys have had a few issues with getting their um, U.S. phone to work with the SIM card, but they uh, eventually get it worked out. So um, some phones, like some Samsungs, have dual SIM card slots, so you can use uh, two SIM cards. Some guys do that, they'll get a smart SIM card and a globe SIM card. Because depending on where you are and the cell phone towers, sometimes you don't have coverage with one system, so you can use the other system on your phone. Um, a friend of mine was telling me about a different company called GOMO, G-O-M-O, and he says that's uh, good for him for calling and the data. I've never used it, so I'm just passing that on, but there's many other little companies that uh, have phone service here. Now, besides using the SIM card for calling, you can also turn on the Wi-Fi calling on your phone and uh, use your Wi-Fi. You can also use Magic Jack. Even if you're in the country and want to call a Philippine number in the country, like from here up to Manila, instead of using load, um, Steve was saying it's cheaper to use the international minutes on Magic Jack or Magic App. You buy the minutes and you use your Magic Jack to call like you're calling from the U.S. To a Philippine number in that case you use the country code 63 and not zero and he says it's it's cheaper using the the magic uh, jack international minutes now my phone plan is 599 for three months so like 10 11 dollars for three months of unlimited calling to all network cell phones and texting um, and so when I bought mine originally, I bought Load, but then turned around and used Load to purchase my phone plan. So I had two pesos load on my, on my account. That's why I couldn't call any landlines. I didn't have enough pesos on the load. Um, so my 599 is good for three months. Then it comes with six gigabytes of data I also bought what's called magic data. And this is all in the smart system. Uh, magic data means it never expires. 
every time I buy the three months of unlimited calling and texting, uh, then that comes with six gigabytes of data. And then Smart, like every week, will send me a text message saying I can pick from different freebies like data or free TikTok or free YouTube. So at first I thought that was kind of a scam text, but it's not. Um, and, and then um, the other thing to know is if you renew early, you lose the days. I thought it was like the US when you add a phone plan, that phone plan sitting there waiting until your current one expires. No. I had uh, four days left on my phone plan and I went and renewed that three months. It just uh, started right that day, the next three months, and I lost the last couple days. So when I renewed the next time, I waited till right at the day it expired and then I bought my new phone plan. Um, now you can buy load and stick it on your phone so it's sitting there waiting. Some load you can share to where if somebody um, has uh, a phone system and they don't have load, you can actually share some of your load with them and send it to them. Um, but not all load you can do that with. Now you can buy load with your BDO debit card. You can have somebody give them money and they can buy you load or send you load. But the most common way is to get little scratch off phone cards and it has a number that you enter and that gets you load like 500 pesos load. You can pick those up at any mall or most stores and add load and then use the load to buy the phone plan. Um, and I guess that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. God bless until next time. Bye.